So guys, today is a bit of a special segment. We're joined by Dr. Christopher Berlou, who's in Dubai for the Arab Health Conference. Uh, before we get into a couple of questions that I want to pick your brains on, can you just tell us a little bit about yourself? And also, thank you for your time for being here today. Thank you. I'm, I'm Dr. Christopher Berlou, and I'm president of the Medical Wellness Association and chairman of the board. We're a professional association that has some of the top and leading doctors, physicians, and medical wellness professionals. And we've been a professional association for over 20 years. Amazing. So many years in the health business. Can you give us a little bit of background about the MWA and the FHI? What exactly are they? What do they do? A little bit more information. Well, uh, medical wellness is uh, really based on the view uh, that we established is how any kind of health care or medical profession should have some prevention and wellness as part of that service. So not just giving medication or prescriptions or let's say surgery, but there are non-invasive and sometimes more helpful ways to deal with health conditions and, and disease and trying to improve our immunity system. Mm -hmm. And is there a specific focus on, on hygiene as an aspect for wellness? Yes. Should we be? Yeah. Definitely. Uh, that's a very good question. Yes, that's the reason I think we, because of the research and having hygiene specialists, we seek out the, the top board certified cardiologists or uh, everything, even uh, rheumatologists, but where they're specialists. We, we also try to find uh, the importance of. of let's say, physical activity, that, that being active and exercise and nutrition is so vital. Mm -hmm. Because if people eat well, that helps them maintain their health and, and have a stronger immune system. Okay, and I fully agree with that. Um, but I think a lot of people are interested today about the coronavirus. It's um, obviously going across the globe. If people are worried, people are panicked. Should they be? What is your take on it? Uh, yes, it, the coronavirus, it's a, it's a strain of the flu virus, uh, mm -hmm. and it comes from uh, infection from, uh, from birds. And with that strain, it clearly uh, has major health because it can spread so easily just through the air. So people from coughing or sneezing okay. can spread that, and because it's an airborne pathogen, It also could land on surfaces, let's say like our table or clothes, and, and therefore the hygiene is so critical and, and can be a way to help prevent uh, infection. And so there are many recommendations that we do, and through the association we try to put out a lot of the, uh, the public service announcements and, and PSAs to help educate people. Okay, so you're talking about public service announcements, you're talking about hygiene. What are kind of specific ways that we can kind of prevent the spread of coronavirus ourselves? Well, first of all, uh, personal hygiene, because it's airborne, is uh, good hygiene practices like washing your hands frequently. Okay. Um, thoroughly. Thoroughly. How long should we be washing our hands for? Well, clearly, first of all, it should be a, a, you should be using a solution or soap that okay. can kill the germs of the bacteria, in this case, virus. So um, these strains are, are viruses. So in that case, antibiotics would not have, be helpful as a form of uh, medicine or medication. Okay. But yes, thoroughly wear, uh, at least uh, with warm water, a solution that helps kill the germs, bacteria, and virus. And then also uh, clothing. And I think it's also important, oftentimes we wash, but we forget, let's say, and use a, a towel, mm -hmm. let's say, at the sink or in the bathroom that maybe has been sitting there for a few days, uh. in some cases longer. And, and a wet substance like that can grow where the, the bacteria and the viruses can still be there. And so we wash our hands, but then we dry and in a sense, infect a ourselves again. Mm -hmm. So th that's why things like sterilized tissue is, is very important and helpful in, in preventing. But even, let's say, if it's a dish towel or a bath towel, then it should be obviously washed on a regular basis, at mm -hmm. least daily, and at the appropriate temperatures. Interesting. Okay. 
And there's a lot of kind of rumors going around about the virus, a lot of fake news. Where can we find legitimate information? Um, where should we look? We should be looking to for like correct sources that we can get the actual information from. Well, I would say the Medical Wellness Association, what we okay. provide would be one. But yes, I, I think uh, scientific bait, and that's one thing I think when you look, instead of uh, maybe searching or Google something, I know some people uh, do that for the corona and, and they find out corona beer because of people that, that would put that in and search. So I would say a professional, also scientific where they're seeking the truth and, and they make sure that the information and recommendations they provide are valid and not just story or passed down. Okay, and you mentioned, so can we find you on, is it, would you have a website or social platforms or where is the exact way to find the information? Yes, we, we definitely, if you search uh, medical wellness, put the two words together, which is essentially, I think the valuable brand, it includes prevention, is the Medical Wellness Association. Uh, so even if you do .com or .info. Okay. And then we also, we have established as part of the uh, global community to improve health everywhere for families and, and communities all over the world is the Family Hygiene Institute. And so that is an institute that we have formed with our top doctors and experts in hygiene and also in medical and health care to help in these situations. And in this case, we, we were able here in Dubai, we brought in Dr. Uh, Nabil Fazi, who's our, he's a medical director, uh, doctor who's based in Cairo. Mm -hmm. And he was here for us to do updates on this condition to help us as we wrote the public service announcements on the coronavirus. Okay, very good. So there's a lot of, uh, let's say, talk about these face masks are sell out, selling out across Dubai, across the world. Are they, are they going to help you or what would you recommend as kind of a smart purchase right now for people looking into a good consumer product that can protect them against the virus? I think in, in conditions, let's say traveling, it, it would be wise to use a, a face mask and to take that because sometimes in an airplane or at the train station or uh, airport, you don't, you know, you're in crowded situations and people sometimes sneeze or cough and because of the airborne, you, you know, that would help prevent that. There, there are, I think we're going to learn about more and, and better, more effective masks in the near future just because of the coronavirus that uh, have been sprayed uh, with certain uh, electrical or uh, solutions that can actually kill the virus. So the masks now, most masks now that people could uh, buy or utilize would prevent maybe it coming, but it would not actually kill. So I think those are things that we're it, it all... It prevents the virus coming, but it's not going to kill the virus. It anymore. would not kill the virus. So even, yeah. let's say, if the virus got on the outside of the mask and then you touched it, you could possibly <laughs> infect. So, are we safe? <laughs> well, I think that it, it would help, but it, it might be. In this case, we might want to change the mask. Okay. Uh, frequently, and again, make sure that our hands are clean when we remove it. Okay. But, you know, essentially, uh, let's say as a simple common sense, let's say if, if you know you have been um, in close proximity to someone that has been infected or has these symptoms, that you do your best. And I think also uh, we all should, if, if we are sick and not well, we should not go out frequently in, in public uh, until we feel better. But I think, you know, the, the common sense is, uh, yes, if, if you have a mask, uh, use that, particularly in crowded or public areas, and then use good hygiene, such as we've mentioned, and define washing the hands with uh, good solutions that can kill the virus. And also, when we dry, think about drying, that we could clean our hands and then infect ourselves again. Mm -hmm. So be careful about, don't use a, a towel that's been on the floor or been on in the sink for several days. Okay, very good. I think that's kind of, that gets it. And before we finish off, you're obviously a wellness expert and you have been for years. Where does your passion come from? Well, thank you for uh, being aware of that because I'm very passionate about health and wellness. And uh, it stems from, uh, as a young child, um, I got very ill and sick. 
and unfortunately I had to spend a lot of time in the hospital and in these cases let's say the medical practitioners and doctors uh, where I lived had no idea even with uh, a lot of testing and so I, I missed a full year of school and I think it obviously changed my, my body type, my body because oh. Whether you look at it, I'm, I'm kind of small compared to my uh, family. I think my, my sisters uh, are stronger than I am. <laughs> so I think based on that, um, I like to share that pain can be a, a, a good lesson. That because of that, I've really been committed to want to help people be healthy and, and make them as well as possible. And I think that's where it's important to share what is wellness. And so wellness is more than just the absence of disease. It's also a continuum. So someone can have a more optimal level of health. So you can be as well as you want and reach higher function and optimal health. So that's something that we try to uh, treat. And we also try to share wherever we go all over the world. And since we're international and global, we get a lot of opportunity to reach out to most countries uh, around the globe. Okay, well that's very admirable and thank you for sharing your story and also for all those coronavirus tips. I'm sure people will be replaying this over and over to like really, really understand them as the days go on. So thank you so much for your time for joining thank us. Thank you for having me and it's been my pleasure. Not at all, guys. See you tomorrow morning. Bye.